Hey everybody, we got a new flashback event available in the round hub. And as you can see on the splash screen here, it is a special event featuring this beautiful McLaren Senna GTR called Pinnacle of Performance. Right, so it is a special event format which means there's no set PR uh, that you requirement that you have to meet. So if you're really good, you can win with no upgrades. Although with this one, I don't think there was a way to do something quite crazy like that. At least for me, I had to get a few upgrades, 13 upgrades total out of 28 available to complete this series without skipping anything, right? So um yeah and uh it's seven stage event each stage unlock per day so you cannot run through basically you know like all seven stages as soon as you open the event you have to wait 24 hours essentially between stages you know the format and um if you don't own this car for the reward, you get to win the car, which is worth a thousand gold and 5,000 victory points, 50 gold and 200,000 racing dollars. Right. And uh, let's see, the car is worth a thousand gold, but if you miss out on this uh, opportunity to win this car, there is a showcase discount so you can get it for 800 gold but that's still a lot of gold so if you can um spare you know two three hundred gold i would say try to win it this round because it is a good car and uh it is definitely the cheapest way to win it so in my case i won it through spending 255 gold and uh, i have the entire playthrough of this event in my channel so i'll have the playlist a link to the playlist in the description box below so if you're interested check it out um in fact i can tell you that uh, you can you should be able to like go through first five stages without spending any gold it's only in stage six the second goal of the day six that required me to uh, break down and get those three gold upgrades so yeah um, that's what I had to do and with that it brings your PR up to 88.1 and then you should be able to complete the rest of the series from that point on so yeah 255 gold isn't too bad right 50 of it you already get back so net cost is more like 205 and not only that uh this this car does have uh two series one is a bonus series called no limits which you can find in legend section and uh, the other one is uh exclusive series so obviously entry fee is a bit uh high since you have to get your car fully maxed out in terms of upgrades. So let's talk about the bonus series first. No limits, which I have completed. So yes, I do have the playthrough of this series on my channel as well. So I'll have the link to that playlist in the des description box below as well. So do check it out. The final PR requirement for this series is 97.4. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the, when Senna GTR is fully maxed out, it's 98.2. So that's, I mean, PR requirement for this series is pretty close to maxed out. That is because uh, you pretty much need to get all the upgrades in order to 100% complete this series. And uh, that means um, only upgrade that you don't need is the last drivetrain upgrade, which normally will cost you 205 gold. So um, 
that and that gives you like 0.7 PR point boost. So without that, your PR would be just above the required 97.4. You'd be end up with the 97.5, and that'll cost you some 1290 gold to meet that requirement. So um, yeah, wait for the upgrade discount for this guy. We actually had 40% upgrade discount. So that's usually, uh, that's better than what we normally get, which is 30%. So, and that's why mine is fully upgraded, taking advantage of that uh, nice 40% upgrade discount that uh, they have offered us in the past. I'm sure it'll come around again at some point. Um, so anyway, and is this the only card that can 100% complete this series? Yes, uh, the other cars featured in this series, Ferrari FXXK Evo, which is uh, possibly the best Ferrari in the game, um, doesn't quite meet the PR requirement. As you can see, mine is maxed out at 96.7. And uh, the other car, the third car featured in this series, P1 GTR, which is arguably one of the best uh, balanced car in the game doesn't quite meet the pr requirement either 96.3 so yeah you have to get this guy just about fully maxed out in order to 100 percent complete but what if you're not a completionist and you don't need to 100 percent complete you just want to get what you can with the way you win the car which was in my case was pr 88.1 well guess what with the PR 88.1, you can 75% complete this series. Uh, let's see, tier 17, I think is about, uh, actually tier 16 is where you should be able to 100% complete this series. And PR requirement is only 83.8. So if you win the car with the 88.1, you're way above. And since the series itself, uh, total payout, of course they don't show you, uh, total payout is uh, 79 gold and uh, you know the final 100% completion reward is 33 gold so that means if you 75% complete this series with the way you win the car you still will pick up 46 gold so remember the net cost from the event um, was 205 gold you knock out another 46 from there it's more like um, like 160 ish right that's actually quite a steal on this car so yes my recommendation is to go for it if you can um, if you got like 255 gold sitting in your account and not discard then definitely go for it now if you can afford to fully upgrade this car boy yeah it does cost you like almost 1500 gold to fully max out this car if you can do that uh, for 1495 gold that's the upgrade cost without any discount of course, if you get 40% discount, that is heck of a deal. See? So win the car first and then wait for the discount up, uh, offer, right? Anyway, um, 20 tier exclusive series. The total gold rewards from this exclusive series is 250 gold. So that sounds like pretty high but of course as I said the cost of entry is like 1500 um, given 255 of it you already spent uh, to win the car so that brings it down a little bit so you still have to spend another you know 1250 right or something around there 
So there you go. And as you can see, I have completed this exclusive series as well. So yes, you, I will have the link to the playlist of the exclusive series playthrough in the description box as well. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, share with you guys some information that I can provide with about this car that's currently featured. So hopefully you guys uh, are encouraged to run through this um, special event to win this car. It is a lovely car. Apparently it is good enough that I actually completed all the series this car's featured in the game. We've also had a limited time series back in uh, a while ago for this car as well. So, you know, it comes and goes. So anyway, well, that'll do it for this video. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.